So there I was, intensive care, unable to move, wanting to just sort of give up and saying, this is it, I'm 40 years old, everyone else can take care of me now. Well, eventually I was taken out of uh, intensive care at one hospital and transferred to another hospital where I was also put in intensive care. And this was a teaching hospital. So um, I was quite a uh, popular patient, basically, because all the students would come in and they'd see all the uh, signs that they were studying about neurological deficits and stuff because I had had them all and I was 40 years old. Um, they didn't seem too concerned about me recovering. They thought that I would actually recover to some point. Um, but they all had a good time coming in and doing reflexes and checking my arms and legs and seeing how I could move. Eventually I was taken out of um, intensive care and given my own room and I was still in a great deal of pain. Um, I, walking was literally impossible at the time um, and I was on morphine. I had visitors uh, and again my feeling was this is it. Um, my wife's gonna have to take care of me. Um, I had a small child at the time. He was couple months old only um, and I had put in place some disability I felt that there was probably Social Security um, I didn't know I didn't really think about it too much at the time uh, I figured well heck I had a stroke people are gonna have to give me a break um, they're not gonna want their monthly payments right away because I couldn't work basically I had a, a practice that was thriving at the time and if you don't work um, you don't get anything you don't get any money. So I figured uh, there was nothing I could do to actually worry about it. I just had to sort of suffer. Now, that's what my initial feeling was at the time, um, that other people take care of me. But then I started getting a little frustrated just sort of laying there. I figured, geez, you know, this is really not that great, um, just having other people take care of you. Um, I did eventually get up to walk with about three nurses actually helped me move and walk around which was probably the best thing that anyone can do who has had a stroke is try and get up and walk as soon as you can because walking is the spice of life walking actually helps you live um, and the nurses did that without fully well maybe they understood what they were doing to get me to walk but it was one of the best things that can be done I was still in a great deal of pain. I still couldn't really walk on my own at all. Um, and I could barely sit up on my own. Um, but they did it. And they, three of them held me and made sure I could do it. And I walked down the hall and back again. It was quite an experience. And um, that was the beginning, actually, of my recovery, only a week after my stroke. Um, what I realized eventually was that, yeah, other people have to take care of me, but I couldn't go down to the corner store to get a cup of coffee or a muffin without a lot of help. I couldn't just get in my car and go to the store and buy that screwdriver that I wanted. I couldn't go and visit a friend and have a conversation without a great deal of effort. Um, I was saying, you know, I kind of miss my life before. I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I took a lot of things for granted. That's one of the things that happens with us is that we live our life and basically are not thankful for a lot of things because we don't think about it because life goes on and it's very busy and we don't have time to think about all the things that we're thankful for until it's all taken away from you. So initially I felt out of hell with it all. I'm done. They have to take care of me. And then I started saying, you know, I'm not sure I really like that. What the heck am I going to do? Lay around all day long and let people look at me and in order for me to go somewhere I have to I have people drive me or, you know, there has to be a lot of things. They have to dress me. They have to do this and that and the other thing. When I could do all those things before the stroke, on my own, without even asking anyone, that's the problem. The problem is, even though you say everyone has to take care of me, you're stuck. And you can't do the things you could do before. Simple things. Like I said, getting a cup of coffee. Those are the joys of life that are gone when you have a stroke. And those are the things I began to realize I want it back.